All right, so Colorado wrapped up day two of their training camp, and you're better than that. You're better than that. Let's get on into it. It's going to go by so fast. That TCU game is going to be here before you know it, September 2nd. And I'm certainly not rushing August because I'm trying to enjoy the rest of my summer. But just following the team on a daily basis, um, this thing is going to go by. And next thing you know, we're going to be calling the game on September 2nd. There's a lot of um, improvement to be made. No one is going to be satisfied with day one and day two of the training camp. But that's what training camp is for, to work out the kinks. It's almost like it's like it's like a dress rehearsal before the main play. And I can't wait for that TCU game because that is the game right there that they need to win. But um, the, the new quarterback, I have not seen him before. Um, it, uh, early on in the um, coach prime had met with the team and he had his cell phone in the uh, meeting room. And, you know, coach prime don't allow cell phones. And I don't I don't know if he was aware of it. Or anything like that, because he's new. I haven't seen him before, and um, but I'm sure he's not going to do it again. I know he felt bad about it. You know, Coach Prime is all about no cell phones, no anything, no white socks. You know, it's all discipline, and I'm pretty sure that'll be the first and last time he'll have that cell phone in a meeting. There was a moment there during the practice where Coach Prime was telling the people, well, telling his players that tell your mind. Don't let your body dictate your mind, control your mind, tell your mind whatever you want, want it to do. And um, this is what make Coach Prime special. This is what, in my opinion, stands him out compared to the rest of the coaches out there. He's a motivational. I liken him to a motivational speaker, but it's a mental thing. He know that this game to get them to another level is a mental process they have to go through. And um, when he say, do you believe it's, it's one thing to say, yeah, coach, I believe, but do you really believe it? Because if you really believe it, I mean, you could beat anybody. You could beat that man in front of you. It doesn't matter your size either. You know, it's all about, it's a mental thing. I keep saying like this kind of sport, I think it's 10% physical and 90% mental. We know it's a physical game. It's a very violent game, physical game, but don't underestimate the mental preparation that it takes um, to perform at the highest level. And we're seeing that in this training, um, the things that Coach Prime is saying. Namir Robinson, that's Nate Robinson's son, after their camp, he was out there running the stadium. You tell me in a, in a few years this, this young man ain't going to be great. He's going to be great. He already have the work ethic already. And shout out to Reach the People Media. Reach the People Media had like a little bit of an interview with Namir Robinson. And that's um, Nate Robinson's son. Nate Robinson, you know, he played for the New York Knicks, won the slam dunk, t- dunk title at 5'9". That Nate Robinson. And also, Nate Robinson played football in um, college. I do know that. And um, But he was sitting there running the stadium after practice, putting extra work in. And I know Coach was talking about, you know, some of you guys are tired. You're not in shape. Yeah, man, and to, to re- compete at the highest level, you got to be in supreme conditioning. Speaking of the conditioning, can you imagine working out in that altitude? It got to be challenging. That's why I say that's a major advantage that Colorado has preparing for their upcoming season, practicing in that altitude. And I know Kermani McLean was saying he was having um, problems breathing and a lot of players are saying their chest was burning. Just imagine the players that have to play against them to play in that stadium and they're running a high-powered offense, of a, a fast-paced offense, subbing people in and out, you know, huddles and things like that. That defense is going to get tired by the third quarter. So that is one of the advantages right there. I know Shiloh Sanders was talking about um, yesterday in day one of their practice that he was having um, a hard time getting to the ball. His mind wanted to get there, but his body was saying something different. And he appears to be in shape. I know he was putting a lot of work in, but it's one it's one thing to be in game shape, people were telling me. It's one thing to be in shape and in game shape is something totally different. So they're simu- simulating simulating um, a real live fast paced game and um, they want them to go hard in practice so that when they get on the field, they won't be tired. They can run that other team into the ground. 
And I know Shiloh said he was getting some extra preparation um, at night, um, pre you know, preparing for the practice and things like that. Um, but yeah, I can only imagine it, it looks e it's it's uh, it don't even look easy. I was about to say easier said than done. It That doesn't even look easy with that altitude. But um, I'm not worried about this team. It's only day two. They still have a long way to go. Even though it's gonna uh, September second is gonna just come by with a blink of an eye, but um, I trust the process. You know, Coach Prime said, "Do you believe you're better than that?" That's see, that's the mental thing that he's working on them right now, and that's what makes him special. He could turn a team where people think, "Oh, they're not gonna beat this team," and they can wind up beating any team. It's just a mental thing, man, that sets them apart. Now, currently, right now, they have these um, light shoulder pads on. I'm not sure at what point during the training they're going to actually put the real pads on. But when they put the real pads on and suit up, then you're going to see something totally different. And um, that's when I'll start looking more at the uh, offensive line. But not worried about it. You know, once they put those pads on, it's a different type of situation. I know Jimmy Horn was saying that, too. He was like, I can't wait for these pads to come on because now that's going to tell it. That's going to tell the story. And also when they have their like um, scrimmage, you know, their first full game scrimmage and, you know, their one on ones and stuff like that. That's the fun part about it. And again, I um, shout out to Well Off Media, Reach the People Media and the pregame show for showing us this stuff. You know, we get to see the behind the scenes and things like that. Nobody is quite doing it like them. And um, that's what I like. So we haven't got to. Well, I'm sure they probably are doing one on ones right now. I'm not sure. I didn't see that in the uh, footage that I um, got a chance to watch. But, you know, they, they're going to get there. It's day two. Tomorrow is day three. And, um, you know, some of the players are probably going to put extra work in. They'll be ready. They'll be ready as they ever going to be. They have no other choice, right? September 2nd is around the corner. But um, let me know what you thought. If you saw some of the clips that's floating around. And, uh, yeah, drop a comment below. All right, y'all. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.